Hey everybody, it's Ryan Casey 908 Today I'm going to show you this neat little transmitter. If you're wanting to test out your antenna system, if you've just put up an antenna or got a different setup and you want to test it out, see if you're getting heard, but you don't want to have to sit in front of the radio and call CQ all the time. This is the Whisper transmitter. This is the 200 milliwatt version. I got it running right now. So on this side here, you have your transmitter output. So this is where you'd hook your antenna. You have your TX light to show you when it's transmitting. On this side, you have your USB. This is for your power. You also hook this end up to your computer to do your programming and stuff. This one is for your GPS. It comes with a little GPS hockey puck. And this one is your power and status. So we have power and it shows you the status. So nice little compact unit. So here on the back this is the Whisper desktop transmitter. He has a couple different models available. It's 5 volt, 300 milliamp. This is the mid power version. And here's his website. So we'll go ahead over here to the computer and I'll show you his website where you can pick it up and his software on how you can set this thing up. You can also Leave this hooked up to your computer if you want. That's how I currently have it. Or if you got a portable setup somewhere you want to try or a friend's house or something. You don't have to have this hooked up to the computer. It's a standalone unit as well. So you just hook up your antenna. Put your GPS. Or in the software you can manually put your grid square location. Hook it up to 5 volts power. So... Uh, wall wart or even some type of battery power phone charger anything like that bank so we'll go ahead and jump over the computer here okay so here we are on the zactech.com website this is the home screen it says it's handmade products for the radio amateurs and RF enthusiasts. Some of his product. Here's the one I have. It says one great thing with my transmitters is they have onboard GPS receiver to track the position, make sure they transmit at the correct whisper time slot. Makes it completely hassle free, no clocks to set, no buttons to push. Just power it on and set back and let it do its thing. Um, here's a picture of the software. He does have a YouTube channel with a few videos on how to set these items up. So we'll go to the shop. So here's the one I have. And you drop down here, the standalone multiband whisper transmitting unit, uh, PC required for configuration, can transmit on a variety of bands, USB powered like we said, comes with a GPS module with about 10 foot of cable, only needs 5 volts, 250 milliamps. It can be powered from a phone charger or USB pack. And here's the different models. So depending on what bands you want to transmit on, you'd select your model here. They're 140 bucks. So here you just select it 
add it to your cart. Um, just kind of tells more about it. 200 milliwatt milliwatts. So he has a shop. He has video. They have videos on here. To help you out. Download, this is where you go to get your PC software. Uh, don't forget to download your driver. I was having issues with it. Reading the unit and I have Windows 10. Um, but I went ahead and downloaded the driver after I did installed it. It worked fine. You can also do Arduino. Whisper transmitters. It just tells you a little bit about the different ones. You have the Mini, Whisper TX, and the desktop. If you add on Tells you a little bit about it again, the software here. Documentation. They have a forum. I'm not logged in for that. Members. Also not logged in. And then your about page just tells you a little bit behind him. So we'll go ahead here and jump into the software. So here's my setup currently. I do have the unit hooked up to my computer here. So up here you'll have your device name. I just named it KC9OZH. I did get this unit from Ham Radio Dude. Um, you can check out his video on his channel. So you just type in your You'll do, you'll, once you get your drivers and everything hooked up, you'll hit read settings. <coughs> It'll read the unit. And then you'll put in your information here, what device name you want. No big thing there. Your call sign. And then your band selection here. Now the ones here with the green boxes are the ones that have the low pass filters built in. So you got 160, 80, 40, 30, 20 all have pass filters. You can select other ones, but you won't have the filtering. These little bars here, this is it currently transmitting on 12, and this is the progress bar. So it'll transmit for a little bit, and once it gets done, it'll wait. You can type in the time here on how long you want, how many seconds. Um, and then it'll wait that little bit, and then it'll go ahead and go to the next one. Then once it does that, it'll start back over. So you can adjust your transmit schedule here. Two minutes is the default. Um, your location, you can do auto for the GPS, but my shack is in my basement, so I don't have a very good GPS signal, as you can see here. So I have it manually set to my grid square. Um, your reported power, I just left this on default. Uh, your start stop, that's to control your um, transmitting. Uh, it tells you what frequency it's currently doing here. It's currently transmitting. Program running. Beacon's currently running. If I were to hit stop, it'd go to idle. Your GPS lock information here. So once you do set this up, you'll hit save settings. And then you'll want to reread to make sure that it takes it. This is the issue I was running into last night whenever I set it up. I would set my stuff up here and I'd hit save even twice and whenever I'd hit reread 
my stuff would go back to like I didn't even save it. And my biggest thing was the location. It wasn't wanting to save my grid square here. I don't know why, but it took me a few tries and then it finally did. So there's that screen. You have your signal generator. If you want to generate a signal, your boot configuration. So this is where you would adjust what you want the unit to do if you had it standalone, not hooked up to your computer or anything. As soon as you put that five volts of power to it, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to set idle? Do you want it to begin your whisper beacon? That's what I have it set at, or your signal generator. And then here's where you select your serial port. So if you had it hooked up to your computer for anything, you'll select your serial port, hit connect, it'll read. I would suggest just doing a reread again. So pretty simple software there. Um, not too bad to set up. Like I said, the only issue I had was my location. Um, whenever I'd save it, unhook the transmitter, have it on its own, it kept showing me way off from where I was actually at. So I just got it hooked up to my computer and then it started working. So let's go ahead and see here um, where all I've been heard. I've been running this for about 12 hours now. I did it before I went to bed. It's about noon here today. So we'll go hear the whisper dot rocks. Uh, this will be, oh, this will be the screen here. <coughs> Excuse me. This will be blank. So you'll search. How many spots you want to do? 30 spots, 200, 5,000, 3K, 5. We'll do 5. Um, how long ago do you want it to search the database? We'll just do 12 hours since it's been roughly 12 hours. What bands do you want it to search to see? I just select all bands. Your transmit call. That would be my call sign since I'm transmitting on the Whisper system. So I type in my call sign. You can select receive call if you want to see if a specific person has heard you. That's where you type that in. And then modes. I just leave it all modes. So we'll hit search. Okay, so in the last 12 hours, I have 4,935 spots. So I'm getting out. Here it'll show your local year, month, date, your time, uh, my TX call sign, my grid square. So this is correct now. And this is the receiving signal station call sign. And you can click on these to put them in alphabetical order any way you want. Their RX grid. The frequency, your drift, your how far away they are from your grid. So we'll select that. So this one here, VK6, that's Australia. He's 17,718 away from me so if you click on it it'll convert it here so he's 11,000 miles away so that's really impressive on my antenna which is just a off center fed dipole just barely above my roof of my house for right now so that is really amazing there he's heard me several times um, the mode and everything or if you'd rather see a map version you just click on map here and it'll have my location here up here's where it messed up and it had me way up north for some reason 
but here's my correct one, Southern Illinois. So these are all the points that have heard me. So you can see I've been heard all along the west coast, here, a lot to my west here in Missouri, up north, and then my signal's really getting out to the east coast. If we zoom out a little bit, we'll go over here. So, northern UK, um, Switzerland, Austria, so that's pretty amazing there. We'll go down here, getting heard here. See if we got heard down south here a little bit. And then got heard a few times in Hawaii. And then way over here in Australia. And then another thing here to tell you, I've been spotted 4,935 times. And depending on what bands, I've been heard so 40 meters overnight I was heard 3224 times 20 meters 1440 times and then on 17 meters 271 times so really amazing for only 200 milliwatts which is nothing so Really interesting little product here. He has other ones um, available. Depending on what you want to do. So there's the GPS antenna that it comes with if you need a spare one or antenna adapters or anything looks like he's got it I would like to get this will probably be one of my next purchases is the whisper receiver because um, I'd like to set up a little receiving station so that way if others are trying to do tests like I am I could hook this up and possibly hear them or you can use it here he's got a little screenshot of it being used on WS JTX so got a lot of neat things you can do with these so Again, this is the Zactech Whisper Transmitter. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. If you've liked this video, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps us out. It helps us get our radio videos out there. And we'll say 73s, everybody.